can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Given this right triangle with the base 12 units and the height 5 units, draw three congruent circles inside of it. Then the question is what is the length of the radius of these three congruent circles? Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Alright, so given this figure, our goal is to find the length or the measure of this radius, R. Now, I will show you two different methods to answer this question. So the first one, we have the using geometry or using the area of this triangle. The second one is very different. We can use trigonometry approach. Now, let's first use the geometry approach. So, we know these three circles are congruent to each other. So, we can put this radius right about here. Now, take note that this circle is tangent to the side of this right triangle. So, now what we're going to do is to create another radius like this and we create a segment directly to this side of this right triangle and we know that the length of this segment must be equal to r plus r plus r plus r plus r or simply equal to pi r in addition we know also that this radius is perpendicular to this side this radius is perpendicular to this side and this is also perpendicular to this side now from here, what we're going to do is consider this center point and connect this point to the three vertices of this right triangle like this. Now, we will use the area of these three triangles and take note, the sum of the area of these three triangles must be equal to the area of the whole right triangle. So let's do that. First, what is the area of this triangle? Now we know the base which is 5 and we know the height which is 5 times r. So the area of this triangle must be equal to 5 times 5r divided by 2 or 1 half times base times height. That is the area of a triangle. Now how about the area of this triangle at the bottom part? We know the base which is 12, we know the height which is r, so the area must be equal to 12 times r divided by 2. Now, how about the area of this third triangle? We know the height, which is r, but we don't have the base. But take note, this is just 5, 12, 13 right triangles. So this is the famous right triangle, 5, 12, 13. So we know for sure that the hypotenuse must be equal to 13 units. Now, we can now have the base of this triangle. So the area must be equal to 13 times r divided by 2. And these three, the sum of these three areas, must be equal to the area of the whole right triangle, which is we have the base of 12 and the height of 5 units. So the area is just 5 times 12 divided by 2. So now we can now solve for the value of r. First, let's multiply all of these terms by to, to eliminate the denominator 2. So we have 5 times 5r plus 12 times r plus 13 plus r equals 5 times 12. Now let's simplify. 5 times 5r, this will give us 25r. 12r plus 13r, this can be written as 12r plus 13r. And 5 times 12, this is just 60. Now let's combine similar terms. 25R plus 12R plus 13R, this will give us a value of 50R. Now, divide both sides by 50 to get the value of R. 60 over 50, divide both by 10, and sure enough, you get that R equals 6 over 5. And that is the length of the radius, R. So, using geometry, we get the value of R equals 6 over 5. Alright. Now, how about 
our solution using trigonometry. So let's start. Now, first thing we need to consider here is this angle right over here. We can say that these two angles are the same. This is not hard to prove. So by the way, let's call this as theta and the other one is theta. So the whole thing is 2 theta, of course. Now, the side length of this segment right over here must be equal to the whole thing 12 minus 5r. And take note also that the total length must be equal to 12 units. All right. Now, we can see two right triangles right here. The big one and this small right triangle right over here. All right. Now, we will use this identity. We have tangent of 2 theta must be equal to 2 times tangent theta over 1 minus tangent squared theta. Because using this figure, we can get the value of tangent 2 theta. So using the big right triangle, tangent 2 theta must be equal, tangent 2 theta must be equal to the opposite side, which is 5, over the adjacent side, which is 12. So we have 5 over 12. Also, we can get the value of tangent theta because we have here a right triangle having theta. So we have here tangent theta must be equal to the opposite side, which is r, and the adjacent side, which is 12 minus 5r. This is tangent of theta. Now, using this identity, because we know tangent of 2 theta must be equal to 5 over 12. So we can replace this with 5 over 12. Now, using this equation, we can now solve for the value of tangent theta. So let's focus on this equation first. Now, what we're going to do here is to cross multiply. And if we do that, we get 5 multiplied by 1 minus tangent squared theta equals 12 times 2 tangent theta. Now, distribute this 5 and sure enough, we get 5 minus 5 times tangent squared theta. And 12 times 2, this is just 24. Now, rearrange some terms a little bit and equate this to 0. So, we have 0 equals 5 times tangent squared theta plus 24 times tangent theta minus 5. And this is not hard to factor because if you factor this out, you get 5 times tangent theta minus 1 multiplied by tangent theta plus 5. Now, if you multiply these two binomial, you get the original equation 5 times tangent squared theta plus 24 times tangent theta minus 5. So we can replace this with its factored form because this is very important. Now, since it is equal to 0, it tells us that at least one of them must be equal to 0. So we can say that 5 times tangent theta minus 1 equals 0 or tangent theta plus 5 equals 0. Now, on the first equation, let's solve for the value of tangent theta. Let's add 1 on both sides. Then divide 5 on both sides. So we get tangent theta equals 1 over 5. Next, on the second equation, let's subtract 5 on both sides. So tangent theta also equal to negative 5. Now, we will use these values to solve for what is asked. But take note, tangent theta cannot be a negative number because we are dealing with positive side lengths of a triangle. So tangent theta cannot be negative 5. So we can say that tangent theta equals 1 over 5. Now, we know also that tangent theta must be equal to r over 12 minus 5r using this triangle. This is small right triangle right over here. And using this, we know tangent theta equals 1 over 5. Tangent theta equals r over 12 minus 5r. So we can equate them. So we can say that 1 over 5 equals r over 12 minus 5r. We can now solve for the value of r. Let's cross multiply. If you do that, we get 12 minus 5r equals 5r. Add 5r on both sides. Then combine like terms. 5r plus 5r, this is just 10r. Divide both sides by 10 to solve for the value of r. 12 divided by 10, if you simplify this, divide by 2 of the numerator and the denominator, you get 6 over 5. And that is the value that we get a while ago. Therefore, 
using two different methods using geometry and trigonometry we are sure enough that the length of the radius r must be equal to 6 over 5 units and as always we are done